Please get ready for the practice of Yoga Nidra. Lie down on the floor, on the back, and spend a little bit of time making the body as comfortable as possible. Loosening any tight clothing, removing any jewellery or watches, and taking anything out of the hair which may be a distraction during the practice. If there's any tenderness in the lower back, consider using a bolster or cushions under the knees to help relieve this tension. Allow the body to settle into the floor. Let go. Yoga Nidra is a practice where the body sleeps, but the mind remains alert and aware following the instructions. There is nothing to do. Try to remain awake and try to remain still. If movement is necessary, please do so mindfully and slowly, returning to the position of Shavasana. So refining this position of Shavasana now. Lying on the back, have the legs about a hip width apart and allow the toes to fall out to the side naturally. Scan the awareness from the toes through the feet, ankles and up through the legs into the buttocks, releasing all tension here. Follow this up into the lower back, into the middle of the back and then allowing the upper back to settle into the floor a little more by slightly lifting through the chest, bringing the shoulder blades a little closer together and then allowing the upper back to sink into the floor. Scan the awareness down through the shoulders and the arms, which are close to the body, but not touching and the palms are either facing upwards or towards the body, whichever is more comfortable, and allow the fingers to lightly curl. Come back up into the neck and release tension here by slowly rolling the neck from side to side, very gently, a few times. and then allowing the neck to settle in a central position and ensure that the head is not tilted one way or the other. And then tuck the chin, bringing the head, neck and spine into alignment. And now focus on the muscles in the face. Let go of all tension in these muscles the muscles through the jawline, the tiny muscles around the eyes. Just let them soften. And let this softening move up into the brow and over the whole scalp, letting go, letting go now. All tension leaving the body and the body sinking into the floor. Let go. Take in a deep breath. Hold it briefly. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And let it go with a rush. Releasing all physical tension. Take in a second breath now. Deep breath in. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and let it go with a rush, letting go of all mental tension. And a third and final breath, breathe in deeply, hold it, hold it, hold it, and let it go, release all emotional tension. Just allow things to be.
and now bring the awareness to the back of the body. Find all the points in the back of the body which contact the floor. The heels, parts of the legs, the buttocks, parts of the back, parts of the arms, and the back of the head, and feel all these at once. The whole plane of the back of the body and its contact with the floor. And then refine the awareness to a plane of contact between the two. It's not the body and it's not the floor, but a thin plane of contact between the two. Allow the awareness to settle here. And leave that. Take the awareness out into the distance and like a radar, Scan for sounds. Find a sound, drop it. Find another sound and drop it. And in this way, move the awareness quickly from sound to sound. Closer to the building, sound to sound. And then within the building and let the awareness settle on the soft sound of the breath at the nostrils. and let this go. Now is the time for Sankalpa. A Sankalpa is a goal or a resolve. Usually in the form of a short positive statement which reflects a most important goal in life. Take some time now to consider what the Sankalpa might be or, if known, Begin to visualize in as much detail as possible this Sankalpa and how it takes place in life. Begin to introduce feelings, feelings of success. Success that this Sankalpa has been resolved. It has come to be. Get this firmly in mind. And then take that short positive sentence and mentally repeat it three times. And let this go, knowing that it will come to pass given time, given determination and patience. This Sankalpa will come to pass. And now prepare to rotate the awareness through the body parts. As a part is mentioned, take the awareness to that part, feel into it, visualize it and silently repeat its name. This is a mental practice only. The body remains still. Take the awareness now to the right hand thumb. Feel into it. Visualize it. And silently repeat right hand thumb. Now moving the awareness to the first finger. Second finger. Third finger. The right little finger palm of the hand, back of the hand, the right wrist, forearm, elbow, 
upper arm, shoulder, and the right armpit, right side of the chest, the waist, hip, thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, and heel, sole of the right foot, top of the foot, the right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and the right little toe. Awareness now of the whole right foot, the whole right leg, the whole right arm, and the whole right side of the body, as if divided into the whole right side of the body. Awareness now of the left side of the body and the left hand thumb. First finger, second finger, third finger, the left little finger. Palm of the hand, back of the hand, left wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder and armpit, the left side of the chest, waist, hip, thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle and heel, sole of the left foot, top of the foot, the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and the left little toe. The whole left foot, the whole left leg, the whole left arm, the whole left side of the body, the left side of the body. And now awareness to the back of the body, the right heel, left heel, the right buttock, left buttock, lower back, middle of the back, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, the space between the shoulder blades, the space between the shoulder blades. And now an awareness of the whole spine, the whole spinal column all at once, from tailbone to the back of the head, the whole spine. Now the back of the neck, back of the head, crown of the head, moving to the front of the body, to the forehead, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, the eyebrow center, the eyebrow center, right temple, left temple, right eyelid and eye, left eyelid and eye, the right ear, left ear, right cheek, left cheek, bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, breath in the right nostril, breath in the left nostril, breath in both nostrils together, top lip, inside the mouth, the teeth, the tongue, the gums, the bottom lip, the chin, the throat, moving down to the right collarbone, left collarbone, whole right side of the chest, whole left side of the chest, and the heart space in the center of the chest, the heart space in the center of the chest. Then the upper abdomen, navel, lower abdomen, 
and the whole region of the pelvis. Now moving to the major parts of the body, the whole right leg, the whole left leg, both legs together, the whole right arm, the whole left arm, both arms together, both arms and both legs at the same time. The trunk of the body, front, back and sides. The neck and the head. Both legs, both arms, trunk, neck and head all at the same time. The whole body, the whole body, the whole body lying on the floor in stillness, awake and aware. Following the practice of Yoga Nidra, the whole body. And now allow the awareness of the body to fade and bring it to the breath, the breath at the abdomen. As the breath moves in, watch as the abdomen rises and the navel moves towards the ceiling. As the breath moves out, Watch the navel fall. Follow the breath. And then begin to count the breath. Beginning at 27, count backwards towards zero. Something like, Breath moves in, 27. Breath moves out, 27. Breath moves in, 26. Breath moves out, 26. And so on, back towards zero. The goal is not to reach zero, but to be aware of each and every breath. Of course, if zero is reached, or the count is lost, simply begin again at 27. Cease watching the breath at the abdomen and bring the awareness now to the breath in the chest. And now watch as the chest rises as the breath moves in and falls as the breath moves out. And again, begin the count at 27, moving backwards towards zero. And then cease this and shift the awareness once again up to the breath at the nostrils. And in the same way, counting backwards from 27 towards zero.
leave this and come back to an awareness of the body on the floor. Feel that the body is becoming heavier. Use the imagination to do this. Imagine that with each breath out, the body is becoming heavier and heavier. Heavier with each breath. The whole body heavy. Heaviness in the legs, heaviness in the arms, the trunk, the neck and the head. Whole body heavy, so, so heavy. Movement is impossible, so heavy. And then begin to reverse this. Feel that with every breath in, the body begins to become lighter and lighter. The whole body lighter with each breath. Whole body. So light. Becoming so light, the body almost lifts from the floor, floating lightness in the whole body feel this with every breath and begin to bring the body back to a normal weight now coming back to normal weight resting on the floor and leave it. Take the awareness now to Chidakash, the dark space in front of the closed eyes, the viewing screen, the space where dreams are seen. And here, imagine, feel, or get a sense of the following objects as they're named. A deep red rose. A deep red rose. An eagle soaring through the sky. An eagle soaring through the sky. Snow-capped mountains in the Himalayas. Snow-capped mountains in the Himalayas. A waterfall, a waterfall. Footprints in a sandy beach, footprints in a sandy beach. Gentle waves lapping the shoreline, gentle waves lapping the shoreline. The smell of fresh mowed green grass. The smell of fresh mown green grass. A white horse galloping in a field. A white horse galloping in a field. A candle flame. A candle flame. Steady and unmoving. And leave this. Come back to the Sankalpa that was made at the beginning of the practice of Yoga Nidra and bring it to mind once again. Begin to visualize, begin to feel as much detail as possible. Introduce those feelings of success and now feelings of gratitude. Gratitude that this Sankalpa has come to pass. 
and then once again take that short positive statement and mentally repeat it three times. Know that this Sankalpa will come to pass. Have faith and determination. It will come to pass. Let it go now. Let it be. Come back to the breath at the nostrils. Just watching the breath. Watching as it moves in and out. No control. Just watching. Become a silent witness. And begin to notice. Notice things about the breath as it moves in and out. Notice the temperature a little cooler on inhalation, a little warmer on exhalation. Notice its rate and rhythm. Is it fast or slow, regular or irregular? Is it deep or shallow? The breath in its natural form. And now begin to take control of that breath. You are in control of your breath. Begin to deepen your breath. Totally in control. Let the breath fill the body. Full yogic breathing. Feel the breath and feel the way the body moves with the breath. Feel the changes in pressure between the back of the body and the floor as the breath moves in and the breath moves out. Body moving with breath. And shift the awareness from the breath back to the body, the whole body lying on the floor, whole body lying on the floor. Feel its weight. Feel the contact between the back of the body and the floor. Begin to feel clothing, clothing on the skin. Notice the texture of the clothing and feel its warmth. Remember its color. And also for the coverings on the body. Remember the colour of the coverings. The whole body. And let it go. Take the awareness out into the distance once more. And begin to listen for sounds. This time, invite the sounds in. Get a mental picture of what's making the sound. And then move from sound to sound. Closer to the building and sounds here. And then within the building once more, begin to visualize this space. The space inside this building. Visualize the room in as much detail as you remember. The color of the floor, the walls and the ceiling any objects within the room and then visualize yourself in this room. Remember your position in this room, the other people sharing this space and sharing the practice of Yoga Nidra, which is now coming to an end. It's time to introduce small movements into the body Moving fingers, moving toes, bending wrists and ankles, elbows and knees. Perhaps draw the knees up over the chest and with right hand around right knee and left around left, make a few small circles in either direction.
and then a big stretch, release the legs, bring the arms up over the head, interlace the fingers above and stretch through the whole body, the whole body. Anything required to wake your body. Then gently roll over onto your right side. And slowly come to a seated position. A seated position. Feel the effects of the practice. Know the time of day. Know that you've been practicing Yoga Nidra, which is now complete. Hari Om Tatsat.